Since winning two division titles in the mid-70s, the Cardinals have not contended for much other than the first pick in the college draft. The Buccaneers' history is filled with frustration as well, and Bucks head coach Ray Perkins certainly played his part. Two weeks before, he watched his team build a 20-point lead over the Chicago Bears. Somehow, somewhere, it vanished in the glare of the South Florida sun. But on this afternoon in St. Louis, Tampa Bay built an even bigger lead, one they could not help but keep, until they hit a wall in the fourth period. It's been said that the sooner you fall behind, the more time you have to catch up. Well, the Cardinals had less than 15 minutes. But after a play action pass to Stump Mitchell lit the fuse for the Cardinals, St. Louis detonated an explosion of points. Lomax on the option to the left side, raises up, throws in zone. Oh, oh, touchdown, they won. Robert A. Wall. Second down play, they pitch it left to Wilder. He cuts across the 20 and fumbles the ball. The Cardinals, the Cardinals have it. Nico Noga at the All right. Touchdown, Nico Noga. From the Tampa Bay 11, JT wide right. Lomax dropping, setting, looking, looping it toward the end zone. Touchdown, right. JT Smith. Third and six from the Tampa Bay 16. Lomax drops. Here comes the rush. Slots it toward the end zone. All right. The 28 unanswered points represented the greatest fourth quarter comeback in NFL history. A quick postscript. Ray Perkins returned to college coaching three years later and in 1992 posted a 1 and 10 record at Arkansas State. That same season, former Cardinals head coach Gene Stallings won the national championship at Alabama.